Hey everybody, it's Connie Knox here with another Tiny Tip Tuesday. I have here a collection of photographs. Have you ever collected or inherited a, a collection of photographs from a family member and you've got them in here. Now if you'll notice all of these are just labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Now luckily this cousin who gave me these photographs uh, left me some messages in her email about what these photographs are. But one of the things that I like to do, and this is kind of a quick and dirty trick without going through a full analysis of all of these photographs, is to put a quick text note in here about what this collection is and where it came from. And so a quick way to do that is to right click and go new and then text document. This doesn't open up another browser, doesn't open up your Word, it doesn't open up a bunch of stuff. It just opens up a quick text file and I'm going to name this one so it stays at the top of the sort list and I'm going to say about these photographs, about these photos. And now I'm going to open up that text document let me pull it over here and it's just a blank screen but it gives you an opportunity to type uh, information about these photographs. Now remember we want to type the who, what, where, when, why, and how. So what you want to do is you want to write basically what this collection is about. If you've seen my easy breezy source citation video it talks about the who, what, where, when, and when, why, and how of a source citation and so you can pop that in there and start filling in the blanks about this collection. So that is a quick and easy way to quickly document, right, what it is. I'm just going to save it here without going into a whole great deal of detail here. And now that document is at the top of the list because years from now when you trip across this again or, or your uh, descendants, your family members who inherit your collection, or if it ends up in a library or an archive, um, this collection of photographs really doesn't have a lot of detail in it at this moment, but you can say, hey, this is a kind of a finding aid uh, about this collection that I inherited. So there is a quick and dirty way of, of adding some information within the collection, in the file uh, that you have of your ancestors. So there you have it, another tiny tip. If you like that, give me the thumbs up, please. Share and like us on Facebook. We'll catch you next time on Genealogy TV. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching that episode on Genealogy TV. If you'd like to help support Genealogy TV for as little as a dollar a month, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash genealogy TV. Also, you should know in the show notes, there are links. Occasionally, those are affiliate marketing links. Uh, to products that pay me a small commission. That also helps support the station, but doesn't cost you a dime extra. So you should know that up front so that you know that using those links helps support the channel. So if you find something in there that is useful, um, please use the links. It really does help me out a lot. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for watching Genealogy TV and thanks for your support.